start the cup and i am from grade 8b of springdale school to back and today i will be explaining to you about the pythagoras theorem with the help of my working model so before i explain to you about the pythagoras theorem i would like to tell you how i made this model and the step connection so i made this model with the help of waste material which anyone can find in their houses such as cardboard paper and some aluminum wire so the, and i used the help of simple machines like pulley so everyone knows that pulley is a simple machine and i used the help of simple machines such as this pulley to change the dimensions of the sides and this one as well So now I'd like to explain to you what is the Pythagoras theorem. So the Pythagoras theorem is the area of this square plus the area of this square is equal to the area of this square, which can be simplified into a square plus b square is equal to c square, with a and b being the two sides adjacent to the right angle triangle and c being the hypotenuse. Now let's try out some examples on our working model. First, let's try out the side, nine centimeter and twelve centimeter, and see what the hypotenuse is. So let's adjust this to nine centimeter. Okay, like this, and let's adjust this into twelve centimeter. Yes, there it is. So, as you can see, when this side is nine centimeter and this side twelve centimeter, it the hypotenuse becomes fifteen centimeter. And if you come here, you can see that nine square plus twelve square is equal to fifteen square. So now let's try out another example on our working model. This time, let's take the dimension six centimeter and eight centimeter. That six and then move this it uh, yeah it become eight and when this side is six centimeter and this side is eight centimeter you can see that the hypotenuse is ten centimeter and if you come here again you can see that six square plus eight square is equal to ten square. which proves that our working model is correct so thank you